Welcome to your Corey spoiler cast slash review discussion, kind of. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across me digitally as a surprise. Alex, how are you? Insert ambiance music now. So let's get straight to that since you brought up music. <laughs> Wasn't it kind of like a CW show with this game? Like, like every now and then you'd get this... Like nice like music. Do, 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 do. Sometimes it was yeah. pop music mm-hmm. and things. There's a couple things I definitely want to bring up with this. But before we uh, start doing full on spoilers, remember, Spell the Cast, Easy Chavis Game Podcast, our normal show goes live every single Friday. It's going to be a little bit of a looser schedule going forward for the next few months while Alex is on paternity leave that he will be having a baby very soon. We're actually very happy that he's enabled to join us right now. Yes. So this was very serendipitous that we were able to squeeze in this basically at the finish line. <laughs> like, yeah, literally. Yeah. At this the is literally, line. we're so, we're close. Yeah. So here we go. The Quarry Spoiler Cast Test Review Discussion. Right before we start all this, because this technically, we do kind of do half reviews in these spoiler casts. I do want to quickly ask Alex. Mm. How did you like Quarry? I don't want to jump quite into spoilers immediately. I just want to do a quick. Do you recommend the game? Should people buy it? How was your experience? So, I really, I really enjoyed the game. I, I liked having that that uh, feeling. I was like, oh, you know, you're watching like some type of like horror movie, like you know, yeah. Friday Thirteenth or mm-hmm. time, so uh, sort of. There's like another horror movie they, they uh, Evil Dead is very, very I guess, Evil yeah. Dead kind of with but, certain um, aspects of the gore. Yeah, I was in. Uh, I was liking like uh, you know the. The the atmosphere that this this brought. So um, the beginning was just well, I was not expecting. Yeah. So but, I love I love actually to jump off of that. Yeah, the beginning is great. Mm-hmm. I love I love like where we start off. Um, but I will say my enjoyment of the game uh, peaks very early and just kind of devils like kind of going out. I enjoyed yeah. a lot of the beginning of the game. The closer we get to the ending is the less my enjoyment becomes. Aside yeah. from a few uh, instances that we'll get in. I do recommend into the it, though. It is, so, it is really good. I do recommend it with a caveat. So if money isn't an issue with you, mm-hmm. I, I recommend the game. You should buy it. I, I think it's very good. I, I liked it, especially if you... I played this with my wife. It was very fun. Both of us kind of screaming when things happen and mm-hmm. trying to see like what options the best and things of that nature. If money is an issue and you have to budget for the year, then I would definitely recommend waiting for maybe a sale. Forty, fifty dollars is perfect for this game, I think. Seventy mm-hmm. is a little outrageous for not necessarily the length, but really the value of the game. I have no problem spending seventy dollars on a ten hour game, which is roughly this game. But I have a problem spending on a ten hour game that kinda looks like this in certain areas and it's very good. It's just I think it's not seventy dollars good. Mm-hmm. I think they were. I'm wondering if they did that price range because, like, because of the. You're like, oh, it's a Series X game, so you know all Series I, X games are going to be this price, no yeah. matter the value or, or the value that the game brings. I think. Um, I think you're kind of hitting where they probably did. Like, the reason they did it is because maybe they didn't want to seemed undervalued, so like they yeah. didn't want to put it at fifty because it seems like a budget game, and they didn't want to seem that way, or maybe they need to recoup costs because. Apparently, this used to be a Stadia exclusive, and there were, de- you know, yeah, there could crazy. be so many possibilities on why this is as expensive and why is the production in some areas great and in other areas look really bad. Um, I will say the there is a mm, I don't know. I, I don't I don't we're going to jump into spoilers like in a second. Yeah. Aside from that, I I do recommend the game. If mm. the money is no problem, buy it now. If it yes. is. I would say wait for a sale, fifty forty ish area. Alex, what would you say? Yeah, yeah, and I'd agree. Yeah, like forty five, fifty ish. I mean, you don't really see anything for forty five, but I would say yeah, yeah forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I would see that was like a per- perfect price. And range this for that. is a single player game with no online features at all. This game is going to probably yeah. be forty dollars. I would wouldn't be surprised in a month and a half. Yeah, wouldn't be shocked at all. You like they try to add like oh you know there's different modes there's movie mode there's couch co op yeah. there's things there's like that. Things so they may- like addition to it but to it, i don't yeah. think it's enough alex i want to mm. jump into spoilers only because this game is so hard to talk about without spoiling stuff so for sure where is there something where you want to start or would you like me to start us off 
Go ahead. All right. So when I was when I was talking about uh, before, like peaks and valleys of the game, there's a lot of this game I like. So like I I like the beginning. Right. We don't really know what's going on. I love the mystery of like, all right, is this like a serial killer situation? Um, you're going like to the uh, first off. Let me back up the cop that you meet. Um, I have the IMDb here. This is Ted Raimi, which I believe is mm-hmm. Sam Raimi's brother, I think. Mm-hmm. Right. Is that true? I think I I'm pretty sure so. it is. I, Alex see. knows actors more than I. So I, I would assume I, I, I think he's in the, his movies. So that's why I know him. I believe so. I think Sam yeah, Raimi it's, puts it's, him in. It's a Sam movies. Raimi. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought so. Yeah. So his performance in the beginning is really good. They they mm-hmm. nail like his very. I mean, you're meant to distrust him because he's he's trying to very much send home like you cannot go to the campgrounds right now because something is happening and he's trying to like talk you out and that all that was incredibly tense. Yeah. No. Especially the way he like brought out all like the way he was acting it's just very he, he's like like they gave him the kind of like you know like he's like staring at you like with mm-hmm. a death stare and like you know when when he comes up to the car he like when he's like looking around you kind of see like the little blood on his neck and you're like oh no what yeah, did he so, just do so i saw that and i was like did he just kill somebody um mm-hmm. uh, that's why i was like he might have killed someone at the thing so that's why he doesn't want to go or something i don't know but um the, he does that he does the weird licks the pencil to write it down that's when i was like we got to get away from this guy because like he yeah. licked the pencil and like showed him where the hotel was i was like god this is yeah terrifying. and he's he looks like he's known for being in a, in a lot of horror movies and i could tell because he gets that he has that vibe yeah he definitely is like he's been in the creepy. grudge and he's been in a bunch of stuff it's very very creepy and then um mm-hmm. i loved the kind of uh beginning part where like you're seeing the hag around you're not really sure what that's about you get more information later a little weird how she's involved in all this but we could talk about that later if you want but um i loved the the beginning is probably my favorite part i would say probably till chapter three to four ish ratio is when i start dipping but everything in this beginning part is awesome and i love that the two characters um come back later so like laura yes. and max i love mm-hmm. that we see them again so i i literally wrote them off like all right they're dead um yeah which i probably shouldn't have because he only sedated laura so like yeah he probably so i probably shouldn't have i thought max was for sure dead he looked he looked rough um yes so my ahead. thing my thing is when they uh when they had them it's like oh they're you know max uh, max got it gets attacked or whatever and yeah. then laura gets drugged or whatever and then my mind's taken i'm like this was looks like it was before, so I'm I'm uh, so my mind was thinking I was like, oh, are they gonna be what's happening in the camp? Are they mm. gonna be the what's causing the camp stuff? I'm like, that's all. I was like, oh, are they gonna be the villains? And so that's what my thing was at first. Now I will say, and I'm curious how you reacted to this, but at the end of the prologue, we kind of figure out what like the evil thing is, and it's it's werewolves. Like it's mm-hmm. that's the thing of the game, and they that isn't to mess with us. That's that's what the anything. Is. What did you think of it being so early? That was one downside for me too, because we just from basically the beginning of the game, we knew what the evil thing was. Yeah, as soon as soon as like they they literally the prologue, it's like oh you know it's a cabin in the in the woods type of thing, and uh, they go down to the to the basement, and there's a a dog collar with a person's name on it i mean that's kind of a little on the nose so of what it is so really quick did did you find out what that was the collar so that is the collar of their uh camp mascot so they have a cat mascot called ian the sheep and apparently, with context clues, because you find the caller, and then at the end of the game, when you're walking around as Caitlin, um, mm-hmm. you find a drawing of a sheep, and it's yeah. called Ian. And she goes, uh, Dylan asks, oh, what is this? And she goes, well, this is our school mascot, but he got sick uh, and, and passed away before we got here. So it looks like Chris he eaten. He ate the sheep uh by break he i guess he accidentally broke out or something i don't know yeah. how he got out of whatever he was in but he ate the sheep and the collar is sitting there and i'm and that's what the actually yeah i didn't see, yeah, see i didn't see any of that and then as a reminder because again it's at the prologue 
Mm. The, there's a dead body there with like rib cages sticking out. I think that's the that. she- that's the sheep. Gotcha. So he, he, ate the, he ate the fucking sheep, and that's what all that was. Yeah, my mind was thinking I was like, oh, that was a, either a dead body or like some type of animal. Yeah, or a, and, some and, hiker. And, yeah. and Ian or the animal had got out and attacked it, and that, and the, maybe the collar got loose. I thought at first I thought Ian was the monster, but mm. then they were, you know, then. The hag of Hag Hackett's quarry started saying Silas, Silas. I'm like, oh, so it's not Ian. I'm like, oh, what? I, I never, un- I figured out what Ian was. So until you yeah, just told yeah. me. So that's yeah, that's that's the sheep. And again, that's at the very beginning of the game. You don't get that yeah. payoff to the end of the game. That was kind of nice. I liked that. Yeah. Uh, I laughed hysterically when I find it out because I was like, oh my god, he killed the mascot of the thing right before people came, which is mm-hmm. pretty hilarious. But um, uh, but yeah, the. Uh, circumventing from the beginning part what are a couple standouts for you for i guess i, I kind of want to just skip to the end um so what what was your ending but how did how did your game end so i was able to save all the campers and i killed all the hackets okay so and and then i winded up killing silas yes so i did this I'm pretty sure my ending is the same so i'm a little confused so how, the way my I, game ended I get okay. to Silas, I kill him, mm-hmm. uh, and the curse, whatever. Yeah. Um, I fuck with Sam Raimi, get him killed. But Ted Raimi. S- uh, sorry, Ted Raimi. <laughs> I got confused. So I locked the Caleb in a freezer, and he w- and he got stuck there. Right. So okay. in during that last fight, um, I looked it up later on. So like, you can either shoot him in the face. By the way. Sorry, I didn't look it up. This is a funny story, actually. Really quick. I don't know if anyone else has had this issue. I think I've heard of a few people messing up at this spot. So at the very end of the game, when you're shooting Caleb with the silver bullets, I guess his hitbox is weird because I've heard a lot of people saying they fucked that part up. So I actually got to that chapter, go to shoot the dog in the face, and it says I missed. And I was like, what? I could have swore. I just figured I missed. And Caitlyn gets fucking wrecked, fucking wrecked, like in the most brutal thing I've ever seen. Like, like her head gets smashed. Yeah. She like opens up her stomach and eats. Like it was, re- it was really messed up. Yeah. So I, I luckily hit him like first try, but it looked like I hit him in the shoulder. And I don't know if that was just like you know, if you hit him, that's the cutscene. The cutscene shows him getting hit in the shoulder or whatever. It's just a, a default. But he was like slowly. He he got hit. And his shoulders like blown off or whatever. He's you see him kind of like slowly going down, and it looked like he was gonna get back up. And I was like, "Oh no, I missed. I'm screwed." But then he just winds up like falling over. And, yeah, it was and, really and, weird. And like, and like dying. Yeah, so it was really weird. Oh, and just just as a heads up, uh, we did not have the digital edition of this game, which is another yeah. fifteen dollars on top of the seventy. Yeah, so we didn't. The first and that doesn't first, give you. The, yeah, we didn't have the rewinds. Yeah, we didn't have the rewinds. So when my Caitlin died, I went. I made it this far. I'm not fucking losing somebody. So I yeah. reverted my save to chapter six unintentionally, by the way. I didn't mean to do that. I just thought I would mm. go back to like chapter eight and try it again. Uh, but I fucked it up. I had to replay like just until like chapter six to get back to that specific part. And then at that part, I was like, well, let's try the other option. So the other option was incredibly like way easier. All I had to do was throw. Um, I don't know if you did you find the bunny? At the beginning of the game. Remind me. There's a stuffed animal at the very beginning of the game. Oh, is it? Is that the one where you play as... Uh, You're playing Abigail? as Abigail. She puts you it in a in... bag because a kid okay, lost so you it. In... Yeah, I left it on the... I oh, left you it on left the... it. Yeah, so I left it because I was like, oh... You know, this might come in handy. Like, what if I'm running away from the wolf and I need to use it as a, as a distraction out here? So you know it's the opposite. Yeah. So yeah. if you take it, you get to use it as a distraction in this part. In this part, yeah. I didn't think I thought about it. It was just gonna be outside. Like what if I was thinking it's like, oh, what if I'm running away? I come in this cabin and maybe I throw it, like maybe if I'm trying to hide, you know, you throw it as a decoy and then you run. That's what I was thinking there. I didn't think I was gonna use it somewhere else. Yeah, so apparently this is the only way to get out of that situation alive if you mm-hmm. take the run option or the investigate option in that specific area. So mm. you can throw the bunny in there and, and the little wolf runs in and, and like messes with it as long as you pass like some quick time events. So that was kind of cool. Now, I am confused that 
I got the when when I got to the end, it said Caleb um died in the freezer. When yeah, the, so he the death. Yeah, and I was like, did no one go check on him? Like, what the fuck? Because there's yeah, so yeah, so because apparently there's a way for Caitlyn to die, and if you get Caitlyn to run in there, she dies in the freezer. Yeah, she'll freeze to death too. So there's, I read that there's so multiple. Whoever goes in the freezer just dies because I guess it it gets locked or something. Well, I could have swore I saw somewhere when I was researching this there was something that was like, oh, um, someone can open it or I don't know how. Uh, so I don't, I don't, I'm very confused on first off, like why did no one check on this because yep. in the end it even says like everyone stays there so like like did no one just go check out the freezer i don't know who cares yeah but uh, i digress it doesn't matter but um but yeah i also got the uh i also got all the hackers killed unintentionally because i wanted to save caleb because he's a child yeah. and then i killed silas as well which mm-hmm. that one was like i almost didn't do it but i was like i don't want i'm like i'm literally i was like i'm on the last stretch and if he wakes up, he's probably gonna kill either Ryan or Laura, and I don't want that to or happen. Both. So, or I don't both, know. Yeah. I don't know if he does that, but I'm just saying. Like, I, I, I also thought that too, because like, I, I did feel a little bad. Because so my only thing is, they never explain why Silas is a wolf boy. No, they don't. No. They so don't. I'm like, so why? So like, what saves him? Like, what? How do you like? I guess like, nothing. Yeah. I guess that's just how he was born, and then he bit. He bit caleb and caleb bit the bit, sister and then the, yep, sister, and then the beats, sister bit chris yeah chris so yeah i i feel you on that like it was a little like okay but how did he become a wolf boy and that's my that's thing never mentioned like, you uh that's when you get to the point where like you know when you get that flashback tarot card and you get to play as yes. the hag so i actually so my wife actually she loves uh looking stuff up I actually cracked, I think, at chapter 10, and I was like, I gotta look something up. I, I forget what it was. Um, and she looked up something and found out that there's a secret cutscene, and she was like, well, we gotta see this. So she mm-hmm. told me, it was like, hey, you have to find this tarot card. And I was like, okay. So I, I find, we find it, in, uh, which is the Harrow Fint, which is in the uh, storm shelter underneath the thing. And you get that cool-ass cutscene with... Um, her finding the burning down thing, I guess, where everyone dies... And then I it's, get, I, yeah. and this was a little unclear. I'm guessing Hank, which is mentioned by the what's her name, um, the grandma, uh, Constance. So when Constance mentioned, you only have the badge to Travis because of Hank died. I'm guessing mm-hmm. Hank died trying to get the fire out. Yes. And then, so that was that was a that I I was a little confused on that. Like, okay, and I was also confused. Like, well, how did he become sheriff? I guess because he died. The thing was open, so he got the job. I don't know, but that was yeah. that was weird. Um, but I'm yeah. assuming he was like deputy or something, and that's how he got it. So you bring up um Silas, not really being explained. I think a lot of this, uh, my problems with this game is not that much is really like resolved at the end. Like, we kind of figure out there's a werewolf, and we kill the werewolf, and, like, nothing ever is talked about. Uh, the ending kind of just ends. Like, you kill Silas. You don't get... I, Which I, I, I'm crushed about, that you don't get an ending cutscene with everyone. That's, I that's my thing. That's, like, that the would... horror thing, where everyone comes back as, like... What the fuck happened? <laughs> yeah, like, like you, you would think, like, you know, like, once everything was done, like, you get... I mean, you got the thing where... You know, it tells you, oh, each person lived or whatever, and like, you get a cutscene of Jacob still in the damn woods somewhere naked. Like, like Jacob is one of the most egregious examples of this. So why why is Jacob not in half of this game? What happened with that? He was in chapter like four, and after that, I think we never see him again. After he runs, after he goes into the stream with Emma, Mm -hmm. and then, oh, by the way, did you cut the fuel line or did you take the I took the rotor arm. Apparently, in that so I actually have a thing up that, that is um ten choices that you think that, that it really matter, did it? Yeah, yeah. So this I have a little thing up. This is from the gamer. Ten choices you think that matter but didn't. That's didn't, the first yeah. thing where it's like the fuel line or the motor arm. Nothing ever happens. Um, yeah. So I actually lost the rotary arm in the river. Did you? Yeah, that's, that, that's, so that's that's what happens. And you can either dive for it or leave it. But if you dive for it, Jacob drowns. 
No, I I died for oh, it. I didn't. Oh, did? No, yeah. Uh, so what happened? Did you have was, to do like a smash a button or thing or something? So it was like the analog stick thing. Oh, so okay. I went to go grab it, and so I dive in. I go to grab it, and I I don't know what happened. I guess I messed it up because it said I failed it. I didn't know if I was supposed to or not, but I went to grab it, and it complete. He completely whiffed. So I was like, okay, maybe that was intentional. I had the prompt, so I feel like if I would have done it, he would have grabbed it. But yeah, I, he goes, grabs it, and I just, I lost it. Interesting. Um, and also, I see, I, I have it right here. This didn't happen to me. Again, I don't know if I fucked something up, but it says if you, yeah, so if you choose not to dive after it, you'll lose it forever. But if you do dive in, you can find the body of one of the missing hikers. I know exactly what they're talking about. Yeah, I he did was not like see sitting, that. Yeah. Yeah, so I, that, you didn't see that? No. So I saw the picture. So I see the picture when it's panning down and there's a fucking body in there. Yes. But when my Jacob dives down, he doesn't grab the rotary arm and he just goes back up. So I don't yeah, know so, how I'm so, supposed to get that. So you, I think if you do wind up grabbing the rotary arm, oh, he sees it. the body. He probably sees so you the can body. Grab it? Do you know? I'm ass- possibly, because okay. I'm, ass- well, I'm assuming happens. You grab the rotary arm, but then you see the body, and he freaks out, and he probably drops it again. That's what I'm assuming happens. Oh, sorry. So, no, you're correct. Um, it says right here, the only potential risk is Jacob can drown while diving, but it's easily preventable. So I guess th- okay. I guess I could have done something to have him dr- Oh, he gets his arm caught in oh. the shit underneath, like yeah. whatever that barbed wire, I guess. Gotcha. So he gets, he gets caught, and you have to smash, and if you do it, you're, you're fine. So it. that's probably what they're talking about. Um, that's a thing, but uh, yeah, moving yeah. On. I just yeah, but, the ending was just yeah. It's it's weird that you it just goes oh this person's alive, this person's alive, this person's alive. These people are dead, and that's it. There's no uh, cutscene of them going back to the lodge, and or there's no you there's no panning out like how like you know other horror movies they they pan out into the into the sky and you see like maybe some ambulance or police cars come, and like you know it's just it's you know it's the end. It just cuts off that's it like i it's kind of like it's 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 like it's like you're recording something and then it just like cuts off before the ending it's like you lost you lost camera battery and it just it it shut off uh unintentionally yeah so i completely agree i thought it was incredibly weird that we didn't get that we didn't get the weird synopsis that some horror movies do where like this person went off to go to school again or they got back together or like there wasn't even that and i'm wondering if i'm wondering if it's different if you get all the clues and everything, because so, apparently, like you know, towards the ending, that's what says, I want to bring up to. Yeah, it's, Go ahead. yeah, in that podcast, or if you, you see the newsletter and it says they all get charged with murder. Yeah, so fucking hilarious that I get everyone out alive, and now they're all charged with fucking twenty murders, and they're it's all like, going yes. away forever. Yeah, it's like so. Like, why did it matter? So that definitely feels like it didn't matter. Um, so that leaves a little bit of a of, of a of a nasty taste in the mouth because I was like okay everyone lived and now they're all going to jail for the rest of their lives yeah awesome like did nobody <laughs> bother to figure look at the cages or the dead bodies and like or the mold there's bodies? cages like, everything's electrified there's a lot of weird shit there's a mist there now that we know I, I guess they won't search for it i don't know why they wouldn't but but there's a body in the lake so uh, that was a little weird. I'm like, how do you know they killed the them two all? Missing, the two missing the bags that were ripped up by the animal in the in the cabin. There's two missing hikers. Um, did you do you Which, remember? Where's how much... the second one? Huh? What happened to the second hiker? So the first one's in the lake, like the male. Where's the that's female? Good, so that's a good question. So where's the female hiker? I wonder if she just got eight to bits and nothing was left. I don't know. Um, really quick, do you remember how much evidence you got? I think I got eight. I don't remember. Okay, evidence is one in each chapter, and I think mm-hmm. I got eight of them. But uh, the, and it, it sucks yeah, that it know. sucks that if you don't have that, it's like if you don't yeah, have all so, ten, they're dead. Like they're all going to jail. Yeah. So like, I'm wondering what happens. Like, if you do get all the evidences, do you get a cutscene, or do, do they, or, or do they say, oh, what happened to these people, or like, like I wonder what happens. Yeah, I, I want to actually replay this game to get all yeah. the evidence. Um, and so, do some some other uh, endings just to go over them really quick. I actually have um, the achievements up that I want to cool. quickly go over. So there's a couple. There's like um, there's one where everyone. So of course there's one that's kill everybody, right? That's the mm-hmm. like one of the most popular ones. There is um, 
turn so this is one that sounds fun turn everyone into werewolves so first off i didn't even know that was an option my wife actually had to tell so my wife actually had to tell me this there's specific uh uh points in every person's little playthrough Mm -hmm. that they can get bit and you can have a whole playthrough where everyone gets bit i think when that happens uh technically the game ends and you're just all werewolves now i I honestly i don't know so i kind of want to uh have a like all werewolf run one day Mm because that sounds really good um there was a uh there's a couple like special endings i think where like you can get like laura and max reunited because again we don't see this it's not on camera we don't see them reunite too yeah we don't see them reunite. there's only a specific way to do that which is like i think like emma has to get infected and kill someone and some very specific things have to happen and they will reunite on camera mm. that's so we can see there are a lot of i was like okay that okay i would like to have that in the game like as like an yeah. ending thing like i i would like to have seen that so that sucks um yeah because it seems like they make you they, they want you to play the game multiple times but i'm like yeah come on yeah i i definitely will try this but that was just a little disappointing i was like damn i wanted to that's kind of what i'm doing with until dawn i'm trying to make sure i get everything because i want the the best ending yes um did you uh uh, what did you did you shoot bobby the first time you saw him so if you remember nick is bitten Mm -hmm. by assumably caleb i don't know which one okay so nick it was with abigail gets attacked he's out Mm -hmm. he's out in the woods like bleeding and Bobby grabs him and is starting to pull him away. Do you remember this? Oh, and yeah, you yeah, as no, a I, lion I, have a shotgun pointed at Bobby. Did you shoot him? No, I don't think I did. I did. I fucking shot the shit out of him. So, so you shoot Bobby and it looks like you only hit him with pellets because you kind of graze his shoulder, I think, or something. Okay. It looks like it literally just bothered him. He, does, he barely looks like it hurt him. So he goes, ah, and then he just walks away. So yeah. I was like, okay, that was a little weird. But you get Nick and pull him back. So with you, do you f- remember at all what happened? No, like you said, and this was when? So chapter three, I want to say, Abigail and Nick go into the woods. They, you yeah, can have the option they, for them to kiss. Before they kiss, yeah. If you remember, this is also when Nick gets attacked by a werewolf. Correct. While he well, he gets bitten, Bobby comes out, scares off the werewolf. Abigail fucking runs. When you, as Ryan, hear that happen, you grab the shotgun and run to him. When you get to Bobby and Nick, Bobby is pulling him away, assumably to heal him or something. I don't know. But he's slowly pulling him away. And you, as Ryan, can shoot at Bobby. Oh, I remember this. I oh my god, I don't remember what I did. Oh god, if you don't uh, shoot, so, does it say what happens? Because I don't, I don't remember. Uh, let's see. If you do shoot Bobby, he'll be totally fine. He may leave the scene with one less finger, but the damage is self-inflicted. This is the gamer, by the way. Shooting yeah. him will cause him to drop a vial of werewolf blood, which can prevent a future attack, but you can still save everyone without it. Yeah, I didn't so, do that. So you didn't do this. Okay, so I did do this. I forgot that's how I got a vial. So I so yeah, I never got a vial. The vial that he had, he gave to Jacob when he was dragging Jacob half naked and he poured it on Jacob's face. Yeah, so that's a yeah, so that still happened for me though, which is a little weird okay. now that that's mentioned that I guess he just did has you, a bunch of them, but Did you find the uh when you were walking around camp uh, the um, camp with Abigail, you find the the, the one in the one? tree? Yes, yeah. I did. Okay. Yes, I did. That was cool. That was still when stuff was kind of unknown, and I yeah. was like, I wonder what that is. Uh, uh, really quickly, spe- since we're speaking of Bobby, and um, we can also bring up um, what's his name? Uh, Je- uh, Jebediah. Yeah, uh, Jebediah. Jebediah. Jedediah, whatever his name is. Uh, yep. we can bring those uh b- bring those two up. So when you first see them, I don't know if you you what you thought of that situation. I'm curious what your first thoughts were when I saw them. I thought this was so. I thought. So it was obvious Chris Hackett was a werewolf, at least to me, because of how he was acting. Was that obvious, do you think, or no? So not at first, no. Okay. I, when I he started thought... freaking out when he noticed the teenagers weren't leaving, I was like, yeah. oh, he's a werewolf. Because he's like, all right, you guys stay, and then I'll leave. 
but you and guys see, have to stay. And I was like, he's a fucking werewolf. Oh, and see, for me, he, I, my mind was like, he, he was like, I need to get, I need to get the fuck out of here because I know what's gonna be here oh, at night. Oh, that's a and, fun one. That's a fun way to think about it. Too. Yeah, he's so like, he's, fuck you guys. I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so my mind, he, that's why he, in my mind, he's like freaked out. He was like, fuck. Like he was mad, and I was like, "Oh, he's gonna leave them, and he's gonna be like deuces. I'm not gonna be here, so you guys are on your own. <laughs> Good luck." And then, yeah, he left, and I'm like, "Damn, this motherfucker just left us." Yeah, he 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 left with no hesitation. But so when they, so when then I figured out, I was like, "Oh, Chris is one of the werewolves." I'm like, "That makes sense because he he wanted to go chain himself off before the moon." Yep, and then yep. we find him later on chained up and yep. stuff. Uh, yep. Speaking of which, when we find him later on, it looks like he's like tried to sedate himself, but I guess that didn't work. Um, mm -hmm. what happened to, <laughs> uh, f so first off, fuck, I I'm not a fan of the Hackett's. I don't know if you are. That's why I very much made it a point where I am going to kill all of you. No, same. This is, this has gone out of hand and this honestly, at this point, it's kind of your fault. So I murdered every, at every chance I had, I killed everyone. Now I mm -hmm. will say, <laughs> One of the gruesomest murders. Um, I, th I, I think we talked about this. I don't think you did this. So refresh my memory. Sorry. Refresh my memory. Um, Constance. Uh, so, grandma. Con yeah, the grandma the goes. From Insidious. So, yes. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the old woman from the city. So uh, yeah. when I go into the house for the first time with Ryan and Laura, Laura gets grabbed by Constance and like pulled yes. up. Yep. So Constance goes for Laura's gun and tries to pull it away and i mm -hmm. do like a smash battle and like when you finish the smash battle i don't know if laura does it intentionally or not but her her she she shoots the shotgun and then yeah, her, yeah, no, and she, the entire front of her face gets torn off yeah I, I saw i saw that but that did not happen with me so okay so so what happened with yours so i think there was a point to where it says i could put the gun down and uh, oh. they had, they had, and he had the knife on Ryan at the at the time. Bobby had the knife Bobby, on Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, "All right, let's de-escalate the situation." So I put the gun down, and then I think he he did do he. I think he did accidentally because uh, I I think we were talking. Something happened, and he did wind up stabbing him, and uh, st uh, stuff happened. Ryan was able to get away. He goes down. The woman gets in my face or whatever. I wind up spitting in her face. Oh yeah, and she was like, she was like, this bitch just you know disrespected me or whatever. And then something happens to where I for, I don't remember if they it was a noise or but something happens to where like it gives me the chance to escape. So now Ryan is hiding, and then I ran and escaped as well. Mm. But then while during that whole scenario where it's like you know you're hiding for Bobby. Uh, as Ryan, or your, uh, and then you get to play as M uh, Laura, and you're high and you're hiding, but Laura is uh, starts to feel more and more of the of the effects because she's bitten. Yeah, yeah. Um, once you uh, you go back to Ryan, Bobby comes out of nowhere because if you leave this knife, you could use that and stab him. <laughs> I stabbed Bobby, and he was I like, too. he was like, ow, and he and he was like, Dad! Yeah, very weird. Very weird. I guess he yeah, was, was mentally really, impaired guess, or something. Yeah. Um. So he he just walks off and leaves him, and I was like, mm -hmm. cool. I thought I was dead. I just figured yeah. he died. I was like, oh, okay. I'm gonna die here. So fuck it. And I thought he. I, honestly, I thought Ryan would stab him in the neck, but he went for the nipple. So yeah, cool. Yeah, and so when it goes back to Laura, um, because I'm assuming I don't. This this scene is probably different for yours, but I, I'm running away from the old man, the Jedediah dude. And um, as I run to a door, I, w I go to open the door, and it's him. It's the old man with it's the old man with the the old woman behind him. And they're okay. walking in the and they're walking in the room, and um, I think we wind up fighting. Uh, I wind up. Well, I, there's a way I wind up killing him somehow. I, I think for, I strangled him. I think I think me, I wind up strangled him. For me, I'm I have a hiding sequence. And then I run into another room, and he yeah. and he I open the door, and he's standing right there. Yeah, that okay. And she's that's, like yeah, shit, that. and he's like, "All right, no more games." And she's like, "All right, let's fight." And he just shoots you in the chest, but that doesn't do anything. So, like she's laying on the ground a little bit, but then she gets up, and we have like a little fight. Mm -hmm. And then he, she grabs him by the throat, 
and you have the option, I guess, of letting him go, which I don't know why you would do that. Yeah, you, you snap his neck. Yeah, you literally, she literally just, God, like, fucking just yeah, yeah. snaps the dude's neck, and I was like, that was yeah, awesome. You snap, yeah, you snap his neck, and but the old lady is still there. And watching this, and Got she's it. like, you, and she's like, you. Oh, bitch. so she was in the room. Yeah, she was in the room with oh. us. She was just standing there, just talking crap the whole time. Oh, okay. We, yeah. So, okay. and then Travis comes in. She was like, Shit, "They killed your daddy, or whatever, or or whatever." But then, I think Ryan and Bobby come in. Like, I don't know if they fell through the floor. I can't remember. Some somebody. I feel like somebody broke through the floor. That's a little later. So in it? this scene, she should run. She finds Ryan bleeding out. And then this is the option of if you have to bite Ryan to save his life. That's right. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so yeah, I, do I accepted remember that. the bite because I was like, this bitch ain't dying for Chris Hackett, which is a guy who just we've known for a little while, but totally dipped out and didn't explain anything to us. So, yeah, I'll kill him. Um, yeah. In so I'm assuming the everything plays out the same. So like, assuming so you you got bit right. By by uh, Laura, like Laura bites you to save your life. Yes. Okay. So Laura bites Ryan, goes to the top of the place, finds Chris locked up, falls through the thing. Now, what happens in this situation? So for me, it's so I for got me. Distra- I, I got I got I got messed up. Uh, the old lady wasn't. Uh, I the old lady was in this room, but she didn't. I don't remember. I don't, I don't think she did anything. She did. Uh, she was. She, eventually, she just. She was in the other room as well when we all were fighting, but she didn't do anything in this one. Oh, okay. So we fall through. For me, it's Bobby fighting off a werewolf that I just assumed is... um. Uh, sorry. So Bobby's fighting off Chris Hackett. Ryan is under a table. Laura yeah. has turned into a werewolf and is fighting Travis Hackett. So for me, okay. <laughs> Chris Hackett just mauls bobby to death okay so um, yeah this is so uh, that's what i was thinking chris falls through the floor with yeah. ryan that's the yeah so they're yeah, still in the room part. so i got this i got confused yeah and then then ryan grabs a shotgun and then you have to shoot chris hackett in the face and i blew this dude's head off yeah like this dude did not have a head mm-hmm. very satisfying scene yeah so tr- when travis runs in that's why i got confused tr- the woman's behind travis the the cop gotcha gotcha and yeah the old, yeah. The old woman Chris Hackett yeah. eat her face yes gotcha That's so what I was she's say, yeah so she's yeah, basically well, stand in for Bobby yeah per, well yeah well Bobby gets killed too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm so he eats oh, both so of them. Oh, so in that same scene. Oh, Jesus! So he just murders yeah. his own family. Yeah. So oh yeah. God. So yeah. So Travis and Laura are like fighting, you know, in the on the corner, and then Ryan's on the floor with the gun, about to shoot Chris. But then Chris, before he does that, Chris kills Bobby on the floor, and then turns around. You see the grandmother, the man, and then he just slices the grandmother and just, oh, destroy, and just cool. destroys her. That's cool. Yeah. So that's how the grandma dies. Because I thought I messed up. I was like, oh no, she didn't die in the other scene, but she died here. Yeah, so that that's basically the end of Hackett's. I work with that cop, and then we go find Silas. That's basically the end of their yeah. storyline, because that from there you just go and go kill Silas. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the kind of end? Like we'll we'll settle this here kind of fight. So like you would like control his Caitlyn and thing, and like you can walk around and investigate the thing. It w- did everything happen essentially the same as mine? You talking about in the lodge? Yes, so at chapter 10, you, like, walk around as Caitlyn, you get ready. Yeah. And you um, fight uh, Caleb, which is the la- technically the second to last Hackett left, yeah. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, he comes in through the chimney and stuff. And uh, he, uh, your, mine was just, I, uh, Dylan ran into the kitchen, I think. And uh, the wolf got in my way, so that's when I did, when I shot him and I didn't miss. Yeah, I definitely there's definitely something weird because i've heard multiple people say this it's a little wonky yeah because like she she shoots in the air in the cutscene i was like what the fuck just happened yeah so, that was that was weird but yeah but then i just do the other thing so uh yeah that that basically being the end of the game for us at least um apparently you can like uh fuck everything up and i've heard a few people talk um about the game and apparently if apparently if you lose like enough people you don't even see like how the game resolves it just ends which is pretty yeah. weird like there's just no resolution if laura does not make it to silas 
I think it just nothing it, happens. I think also I think it's either if Caitlyn or Ryan. I think one of them, if it, when the one of if one of them die early, dies early, it just it just ends. Jeez, that's I, like, that's so strange. Like you have a whole part right. of the game that's gone. Yeah, I was listening to kind of funny because uh, Greg was talking about his experience, and I think I think he said uh, when Caitlyn, yeah, when Ka- I think when he said when his Caitlyn died at that scene, it just ends there. Wow. It, uh, yeah, it just ends there. You don't get That's to si- you don't go to get to see Silas. You don't do any of that stuff. It just ends right there. Okay. That's strange. Um Yeah, so I now that we're basically kind of rounded out what what happened on our endings. I just don't I didn't feel I, f- I don't know. I, resolved isn't the right word I want to use, but like the way it just ends, it, it, I was like, "Oh, it almost like they ran out of money or something <laughs> like like not to like call these people call them out it's a good game but like it, it almost seems like they just kind of like ran out of money and they were like we have to just end it here like we yeah, can't have just, anyone it come back right. or anything. yeah it just felt rushed yeah it just felt like oh uh silas is that right, bye it's like okay. yeah right, whatever. like literally the uh, last because uh, yeah i was thinking that last chapter you know you uh, you walk uh with laura ryan and uh travis you get to go towards the woods. You find the burnt down uh, circus thing. Yeah. And uh, I, I, my mind thought you, I was gonna be, I was gonna see, you know, the hag come out of nowhere, the mother come out Me of too. nowhere, right before, you know, you could shoot Silas and be like, you know, don't do this. I thought she was I, gonna you, grab the gun. So yeah, I thought something was gonna happen, but like they didn't even say if she's actually a ghost or if she's alive because if you when you get the tarot card. And she gets, you know, she's crazy. She starts getting the blood all over the, her face, like to go find Silas. She just walks into like where the fire is and just walks past it. But it, it, they never said if she was dead or alive. I, well, so I'm she's pretty. Me. She's definitely dead. She blows the, the thing blows up, so she's definitely dead. Well, the fire was already there. I didn't see anything blow up. Yeah, at the very end of the scene, there's like a little explosion that happens, and then it tosses up all the tarot cards in the air, and like oh, they're I didn't fluttering. See that. Yeah, yeah. So when it explodes. Like uh-huh. there's an explosion and like the camera's panning up and then you see these tarot cards floating in the sky and they're all like slowly oh, falling away. Scattering. And then and then one s- shows to the camera and it's the tower card, which means doom. Like towers like a really bad gotcha. one. So that's I guess that's also telling you everything went to fuck and she's dead. Like but gotcha. I agree with you. It is unclear because I assume she was dead because she, she was able never, to just like teleport. And she whatever. never really does anything. So like, what, yeah, she's just like an extra thing there, just spooking everything. But she never did anything. So my mind was like, she, you know, she's in those cutscenes where she was like, oh, you know, welcome back, friend. You know, you got to find all my cards. What is this? What? What is this? I thought she like. I thought we eventually, when she kept doing that, my mind thought it was like, oh, are we gonna see who's on the other side, or is that us? Or is that supposed to be somebody else? Or is it the podcast people talking to her? Like who? who, who I think it's it? meant to be like Us. me. Yeah, me. So me, it's meant yeah. to be Elijah. It's meant to be Alex, who the person who's playing the game. Yeah. Because if you do the the if you kill Silas, mm-hmm. which I kind of like, and I'm like, okay, very Doctor Who kind of situation, where she goes like, since like she's really mad, and she goes every time there's like a weird shadow or a noise in the dark i got chills and i kind of had to look behind me yeah every time that's gonna be me and i was like that's cool because that's that's them trying to bring out like hey we want to scare you so like we want to be a little scary we're gonna make it a little little real we're gonna we're gonna try and be a little real and be like hey you know she's now going to haunt you because you did this and so you did this yeah so i was like oh that's kind of that's kind of cool but again like that didn't that didn't do anything yeah like the other issues i enjoyed more was the podcast at the end on the credits like honestly the podcast is really good now apparently alex i don't know if you know this i think that's real the podcast the bizarre yet bona fide i think so let me see I feel like I saw someone on Twitter say it was real. Bizarre. Uh, bizarre. Yeah, yeah bizarre. Yeah, bona fide. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's a real. Yeah, it's the Corey Achievers right there on the camera there. Yeah, so it, it's definitely real. Um, we, we are the Corey Wiki. They're up to it's episode. S- oh, episode six, the Hag of Hackett's the Corey. So you get. So if you want, you can listen to 
the hag of Haggard's Quarry. The boy who crawled Bigfoot, missing, presumed dead. That's kind of cool. I might listen to that. Yeah, that but, is pretty cool. So they, the game, the Supermassive Games made a podcast to to continue this. Yeah, they probably hired some people. I assume it's it's going to end at episode six, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, but since we kind of rounded out what our thoughts of how the story was and how it ended, I want to mm. ask you the technical aspects of this. So there's a few things that kind of gripped me the wrong way while I was playing the game. So okay. I I will say there are parts of this game where it is photorealistic and it is insane how good everything looks. Particularly the bonfire scene. So the bonfire scene yep. for me looks incredible. Now, just to know, I am playing on an OLED display, so the blacks are very good. Um they're very deep, they're actual blacks and all all of that technical jargon that you can insert mm-hmm. there but in that scene it looked incredibly good like i literally looked over to my phone i was like this looks really good right i'm not crazy like this looks insane it looked like real people so they did really good with specifically the scenes and then there's scenes like near the end of the game with abby and emma just in the storm shelter by the way which i'm like mm-hmm. can they do something like they're just sitting here what the yeah, fuck like, wh- why is yeah, there only I- one person doing something yeah, I was confused why they were both in there. Were they trying to like hide? And, like, I, I think don't they were it. hiding, but why? Why no one else is hiding? But like, like why aren't people working together? This is weird. It's weird. It seems my like thing- only two people can ever work together, and no more, no more. So my thing is, you remember in the very, very beginning in the prologue when uh, the werewolf was in the basement and attacks Max or whatever, and um, the. Sh- Travis shoots down there and she and he's like, Does this look like the hotel to you? You yeah. know, that part. Is he shooting at the wolf? Yes. Like, did the wolf escape because, like, they're down there and nothing's down there now? Like, they didn't really, he didn't really, they didn't really emphasize or did like so tranquilize them. He, or? So, when you are in the jail cell and you uh, successfully do the quick time event to overhear the conversation between the two brothers. Okay. I believe that's when he goes like, uh, yeah, yeah. That's when he goes, um, like, be lucky. I didn't have silver, dude. Like, I, oh. I had to get you off of them. Like, gotcha. So he shoots. Okay. I'm guessing he shoots like six times. Yeah. And I guess that's enough to be like, ah. And the werewolf just runs away. I was like, you're really betting on this fucking thing, not tearing your ass up right now. But yeah. I guess he was. Exp- I mean, he didn't seem worried, so he seemed to know that that would scare it off. Yeah. But um. I just figured yeah, he was he's standing in front of the stairwell. I'm like, where is this wolf gonna go? <laughs> yeah, that was that's a good point. I didn't think about that either. Yeah, I, I guess he shoots it, and the wolf like goes ah, and and, and goes in a I guess a corner, and then that gives him enough time to grab Max, that is limp at this point probably. Like he's probably passed out, and you have to dead yeah. weight grab. When well, he has I, two I, bodies, he has to move. So that's I'm what I'm saying. So that was a little weird. I I think I agree with that. Yeah, like okay, so he shoots him, and he goes out, and then runs towards a wall and i guess stays there gives him time to pick him up i don't know but yeah. that is a little weird there's a couple of those times in this game where yeah it's like, oh. i had one mocap issue the whole game like i don't know if that's just oh a, really like, it, like it's not a bug in the game i think it's just how they made the character's face look um it was for emma everybody's face like the you know there's their the cheekbones everything yeah. else is like it's like nice and like 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 thin and sp- hers looked like this side of her ch- her ch- like jaw looked like the, she had either uh, the chewing tobacco or like <laughs> she had she had like a br- uh, thing but it yeah. looked like puffy the whole time she was like yeah so it's it, it's the so whole weird time, be, and it was be, bothering me because the actress doesn't look like that yeah 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 so obviously like look online she doesn't look like this so i don't understand what happened everyone else yeah. is fine that's what i'm saying so, like it was just her like her right this area right here just looked more swollen and i'm like is she like does she have dip or something and like, it's just, <laughs> is she tobacco dip like, it's just like it looks so it is weird here and no, i'm no, like yeah. it, it's it like her old chin kind of is, is is weird and and it's weird because everyone else looks good so why yeah. is she the one that looks bad that's what i'm saying like did they not have like money or something like what happened like why does it seem like they got to a point and just stopped working they were like all right it's playable stop yeah. <laughs> ship it now so yeah. 
there's just so many th- that I'm right there with you. I'm like, there are certain scenes where I'm like, why does it look like this? Anything, one, I feel like they put most detail and mocap on the high end actors, like the the grandmother, Ted Raimi, uh, Chris Arquette, like, probably, or, like yeah. all, all of them. Really quick, and there's two since we're um, sticking with like technicals for a second. There are two scenes that are like super jarring. Um, there's when they're in the water and they're splashing water around, it looks so fucking bad. That oh, yeah, looks that's... terrible. Yeah. It looked like oil. I was like, this isn't what water looks like. So that was weird. Two. I, mean, I get it's dark, but still. It looked so bad. That was yeah. terrible. And then when they all fall from the roof, they fall. And then for some reason, as if this is a cartoon, they have a bunch of splinters shoot up out of the hole that they fall through. And I'm like, why did you do that? <laughs> you did not have to do that. that. That looked really, that effect looked bad. And also that, that made it look cartoonish in a very mm-hmm. serious scene. So those are two like uh, moments where like, it just took me out of the experience. Like, what the fuck did I just watch? That's so it, again, I want to praise this game because it looks so good in certain scenes. Like that campfire scene is insane. The mm-hmm. scene where, uh, like yeah, like you said, like anytime we're really we're looking at the hack, it's like they're beautiful model too. But then we have scenes like the water, and we have scenes like that, and mm. we have scenes like um every now and then like a, a like like a, like for instance like Max sometimes looks a little weird. Mm. Um, Emma almost always looks weird. Um, mm. so there's a few things that that are just strange. Um, do you have a favorite now? Do you have a favorite character? That's a good question. Um. Like, who was, like, when you first, like, started meeting everybody, getting to know them, who was the person you're, like, no matter what happens, if it gets somebody else killed, I want to make sure these, <laughs> this person lives. So, I was a fan of Caitlyn, for sure. Yep. Um, t- Caitlyn, I really liked. I really like Dylan. He was fun. Yep. Yep. Uh, Ryan, him, whenever Dylan and Ryan are hanging out, they 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 play really well off each other. Yes. Um, sh- I thought they were good together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's a shame that first off, it seems like they're baiting us with relationships mm-hmm. in this because nothing ever happens with anyone. So I'm like, why did? No, yeah. Why is this even in the game? And See, two, speaking of speaking of relations, real quick, you remember when Nick threw Abigail right before he turned? <laughs> Dude. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, she's not dead, dude. So I was so uns- I was that was so unsettling because she just like sits, gets really close, and I'm like, you see his he eyeballs grabs- are sunken into his face. Why are you so yeah. close to him? And yeah. he just goes, Why don't you like me? And I'm like, This dude, this you need dude to get away gone. from this fucking man. And he just with one hand just ah, <laughs> just tosses this chick as hard as he can at the wall. And she gets up like it's nothing. So I talked to my wife and I was like, so first off, I thought she died. So I literally looked at my wife like, holy shit, she's fucking, before I can even say she's dead, she's like, oh, fucking, that was weird. (laughs) I was like, wait, what? (laughs) Why is she just getting up? What in the hell? Dude, it was wild. I was like, why did she take zero? Like, literally, it looked like she was like, man, that was what the fuck? <laughs> like, like she, like that was annoying. Like it no, didn't yeah, hurt. Sure. Um, did oh, you, yeah. did you Dylan shoot him Ryan's thing. Huh? in that scene? Did you shoot yes, him? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I did too. Yeah, I shot him to because I was like, he's either gonna kill somebody or if I shoot him, he's just gonna turn, and that's exactly what happened. So I was almost. I was like, first off, if I shoot him, nothing's gonna happen. He's a werewolf. So he's like, a werewolf. Yeah. So I, I had no problems with shooting him. I, I I wonder if some people were like, oh, I might kill him. I was like, nah. It, nah. and if I do kill him, fuck this guy. He just threw her at the wall and could have killed. Like that could have killed her. Even though yeah. the game acts like she just got and, lightly slapped on the head. And I get it because uh, you know you don't see him for the like rest of the game because he's the one in the cage. And then, like, if you look at the credits, it's like, oh, he survived. Nick just wakes up in the in the in, in the forest. He's like <laughs> missing the, the whole game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's another thing too. I was like, wow, he was put here either to die or to be a werewolf and just be gone for the whole game. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. But oh, uh, my favorite. Uh, I didn't even answer my favorite character. So I am. I, I like Caitlyn. It's between Dylan and Caitlyn. So Dylan, Caitlyn, and actually surprisingly Ryan. Yeah. It, I do like a lot. He falls a bit because it took me a second to get into his character. I don't know if this happened it's, to you. So the way he, he's like this. He's like. 
So that yeah, yeah that is that is what he's doing. Yeah, that, no, he's not even doing that. He's doing that. Like he's trying to talk without moving his lips as that's much not, as possible. That's, that's not funny. <laughs> What's funny? The heck, the heck of core. <laughs> like, why aren't you moving your lips, bro? Like, you're <laughs> this is voice acting, man. You have to move your lips. I'm sorry. And, and, and you know because he's a great actor. If you see him in Jurassic great World, actor. like like he's my favorite uh, one of those in those movies. Detective like, Pikachu. He's the man. I think he's the main guy. Yeah. Like he's yeah. a, he's a, he's a fine actor. Like, I, like I, that's why I was like, why either you were directed this way or you like wanted this to be a thing. And I literally couldn't hear him at the beginning of the game, dude. I was like, I what thought- the fuck is this guy saying? I thought he was. I thought he was the baddie the whole time. Cause, dude, every time somebody would ask him something, he would just look at them like he's like. He did. He did. He had that. He had just just a, such a just like a blank, a blank face with nothing going on. Like it was wild. I was like, I, I was like, dude, when is this dude gonna turn? But I was like, I was enjoying him because he was. Uh, I actually he thought was he was like, a bad guy. So yes. I, me and me and my wife, so both of us misinterpreted the scene. So when he is, uh, when they go into Chris Hackett's office to call nine one one, they pick up the uh, Ryan picks up the phone and dials it, and you hear nine one one, and he goes, "Oh, it's cut." So I don't know if we just missed something there, or if there's a an audio cue that didn't sound or something. But to us, it literally sounded like nine one one. Here, uh, what's your emergency? He goes, "Oh, it's cut." And they're still on the line, and he just hangs up. And I was like, "What the fuck just happened? It, yeah. Is he in on this? What is happening?" So yeah, when, and we no, literally he, go yeah. the whole game Damn. and go, "Okay, clearly he's there's nothing. <laughs> there's clearly by the time we reach the Hackett's house, he has nothing to do with any of this." Because uh, we thought, I thought, or uh, both me and my wife thought, we uh, he was luring Laura to the Hackett's. Mm-hmm. Um, cause he was really weird. Like, oh, I don't know where to go, and he suddenly knows every inch of this fucking place. So I was like, yeah. oh, he's 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 in on it. And at the end, no, he's that, that's what my thought kid. too. Because especially when he's in the cabin with uh Dylan before you cut his hand off. And oh, so you, at- d- did you? Sh- uh, so you did cut his hand off. Apparently, you I don't could- have to cut his hand off there. So um, it's really so you so, can let. Oh, is that how you let him turn? So oh okay, well you can let him turn, which I don't know. I think that's bad because I think he can kill Caitlyn or something. But okay. no, so if you don't um let him go reach the wire, yeah. If you, I think you can scare the wolf off by shooting at him when he's okay. up there. So when he's oh, yeah. when he's There's up there, if you, you shoot him, him, I didn't do it because I didn't want to give us away. So exactly. I didn't, I didn't do yep. that. Yep, I didn't do that either. Um, which apparently we, sh- I think we, sh- I think we should have. I couldn't find before we recorded. If that was like better to do, but yeah. um, that was gnarly when he gets grabbed and they're just kind of like grabbing. And and then as soon as he falls, he's like, "You have to cut it off." Like I love his like zero. Like, initial- you have to cut this off now, now. And he and I, I'm like, "You told me to." Okay, like I literally yeah. my Ryan, I was like, "You told me to." I'm gonna do it now. Chainsaw. Yep. Did you use yep, the I- chainsaw or the? Yeah, shotgun. I I cut the chainsaw because I figured if it was a clean cut, yeah, it's, clean, it's right? easier. It's easier to. I don't know. To I don't know what psychopath would use a shotgun to cut someone's arm off, but um, no, don't do that. Who, the people who made the game, the, the 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 stars of the game, they were on a video and they were like, "Oh, we're gonna play the game because they they don't they've never played the game. They just did the scenes and that was it, you know." Right. So they were playing. And they were like shotgun, shotgun. That's I was like, up. you fucking nuts. And, you, and the, the actor who plays Dylan, he was like. <laughs> so that brings up a point um, that I'm curious if you have an answer for. Why are why is everyone so casual with losing appendages in this? So Dylan seems to take him losing a hand pretty well. But no, later on, and- he was like, he was like. Oh God, my hand! I was joking. <laughs> that is true. That is true. But that was. Shocked. But but like no one seems to take it seriously. And why I want to bring that up is when Laura loses her eye, she barely winks. Like n- not and not as a joke, but like seriously, like she barely. She doesn't even seem phased. She literally goes into the mirror, looks at, it and goes, "Oh great!" <laughs> like 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 that's a reaction that you would say like when when like you ordered yeah, the chicken sandwich and they brought you yeah. a burger not when yeah, your thought, fucking eye is gone yeah i thought she was like fuck like a, but like i feel like if i lost my eye i would just 
I would be just the biggest baby. Like I'd be like, well, this isn't I, happening. Ah, I'd be crying. I'd be yeah. like, well, how do I fix it? Yeah, because I just, just don't feel like they had. Like, you can't do anything. Like it, once it's gone, you're like, oh fuck. She took it so well. I, I, she took it better than I. I'll say that. And I love that it came back because she healed. Yeah, it was kind of cool. But the, I, yeah. I was like, okay, convenient, convenient. All right. Yeah, because she was like, oh, you're bit, and then he was like, bloop. And then the eye was like, and then their eyes were glowing. They heard their eyes were glowing orange. I, I laughed a little because I was like, "Did you not realize you had your eye back?" <laughs> yeah, anyway, like, you don't like, feel is, that happening, <laughs> right? Well, she had the eye patch on, so it's if she sees, I, it's literally just black. But I feel like I would feel my eye regrow in my skin. You know, like. Well, do you think it was regrown or just healed? Because we didn't actually see it. She we they did. covered it. We kind of did. So she looked in the mirror, and there's a gash going, going kind of like yeah. this. So, like, yeah. there's a large gash in her eye. So, I yeah. mean, that would heal. So would, so. I'm assuming that would just deflate it, I guess. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think it's a balloon, but I don't, I don't know. Not important. I just want to bring that up. It was very weird that everyone was very curious. To answer the question, finally, I think it is probably... It's a it's a tie between Caitlyn and Dylan. I, I like both of them. They're, yeah. they're both uh, really fun. I wish someone would have got together at the end of this. No one did. Emma, Jacob, cool. don't seem to be working out. Caitlyn, Ryan and dylan none of those threes seemed into each other and um i guess laura and max might stay together i guess i don't know it's so unclear they all went to jail anyways that's not happening (laughs) yeah i don't think that's gonna she probably has she's probably a little traumatic uh traumatized Traumatized, yeah so i guess i get that yeah okay alex we Mm. have uh, gone through quite a bit i will bring um up a couple of these funny ones that uh uh that the gamer made the most important uh the choices that um actually don't matter one of them being like things like the hammer or wrench at the beginning of the game run away or help yeah. nick will not matter um, really wow yeah so it says uh, uh similar to laura's choice with max abigail will have a oh. choice to stay with him no matter what you choose the same event will happen if you choose to say she will run away once the werewolf returns. If you choose to leave, she just runs him. off. He survives and becomes affected either way. Yeah. Um, which is hilarious, though. If you choose to abandon, he'll feel betrayed. But, like, we never see him for the rest of the game, so it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, and then and he throws you, you know, across the room, so that's betrayal. Yeah, yeah, we feel pretty betrayed, too, brother. <laughs> right. Um, eavesdropping on Chris Hackett doesn't seem really to matter. And, of course, collecting tarot cards, aside from the hero fan card, does not do anything. Okay. Well, Although, there's, um, does is there a thing where, it, or do you don't want to spoil it? I don't. Well, it's a spoiler cast. But if you cast. if you if you get all the evidences, what happens at the end? That's a great question. Let's see. Because I wonder if like the podcast thing says something different, or do we get another different newspaper? I bet everyone gets um gets off. That's yeah, what that's I what I'm assuming. assuming. But let's find out. This is via. Sorry. Oh, God. Okay, so it's literally all I'm getting is um, how to find them. Oh, there we go. What were to happen if I click? But Oh, most. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they. They just get off. They I, okay. I, I can't find where. I want to hear what the podcast is about. That's what I want to know. But I'm not seeing that anywhere. Everything is just saying like, oh, you know, this is where you find them. It's just guides. So I'm having trouble finding it. Yeah. Uh, but, but that's what I would assume is you probably you probably get everything the same. But the credits go. All the kids got laid off. Um. Oh, what did what was the the second newspaper did you see that one so at the end credits there's one newspaper mm-hmm. that says all the teens are charged in can't massacre my dog is being silly and um there's a second one that says like mysterious animal attacks like something like that well i know is was that meant to know, be an old newspaper or something I don't remember because all I remember is like when they had the picture, when they the podcast people were talking, they're like they got that they had that picture of the one that Emma took with her phone when the wolf was like this. 
Okay. Um, I, I didn't know if you did that. Um, when you're running so. away, when you're running away on the island in that cabin, the, the Max Wolf. Um, and she had she was you know vlogging on the camera. She was running away, and the the wolf is on the back the the that bridge thing, and it's walking towards you. I think you can uh, you, I think you can use the the spray. Yeah, the I maced the thing. Something. I I maced him both times. Okay, the first time I stunned him, and I think I, I think if you don't stun him, you can uh, it stuns him the second time if you miss because you fall, you can stun him. But there's a point where like you can get the phone and flash him, and it takes and you take a picture of him, and uh, that ev- that I, evidence I, it was in the podcasting where they're like, well, look at this, and they bring up the picture, and it's the wolf doing this. And the the two guy the two podcasters are like, w- what is that? And they're like Whoa. talking about it. Okay, no. So and they're like, is this for, this could be photoshopped? You know, like so. Like that. My the closest thing I got to that was they had the trail cam I found because they're going through some of the evidence that you find. They go mm-hmm. over the confession letter from the daughter saying like, oh, I, we should tell everyone we're werewolves, basically. So they mm. go over some of the pieces of evidence and th- they go over the trail cam. That's the best evidence I had. That sounds like what you got. Mm. But they were like way they were not into it. They were like, no, nah, that no, come on. Um, and they, they, they did the running joke like that could be a bear, which is yeah. like a running joke throughout the whole game is. um, uh, All right, I'm trying to check to see what this ending is. I think I found it. Did you? Um, okay, can you? I found the cutscene, and it says, uh, at first it was like Psycho Teens charge over summer, but then they were talking about it, and then there's a thing that's, because uh, uh, there's a uh, another new ar- news article about it. Let me see if I can fast forward. Uh, let's see. Come on. Ah, there it is. It says, uh, teens acquitted. Evidence proves shooting was self-defense. The group of summer camp teens charged with murder was were released today after new evidence brought to light by podcast duo show that the death of Kaylee Hackett was accidental caused by self-defense. So they went... Interesting. So, so that means they went all went to jail because of the Kaylee Hackett shooting, not Anyone everything else. else. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess she's the because she's the only body that came up. Everybody else has been mauled to death. I assume nobody was actually shot because Kaylee was shot. I don't know. I, that, that's, that's a little that's weird. weird. That is weird. The death of Kaylee Hackett was accidental, caused by self defense. So what like, about the other, the other like, six Hackett's? Yeah, that's what my thing was. I was like, huh. they're not, they're not, yeah, that's all it says on that one. Okay, I mean, I guess Kaylee Hackett's death is the most damning because she's just laying in a pool, naked, dead. Yeah. So, also weird thing. I I wanted to bring this up really quick. What did you think about the werewolf transformation thing that was happening? That that was a little, a little uh, weird, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's so, just your the outer skin explodes. So I I I think I just think too much about it. But like, mm-hmm. I was like, how the fuck does this work? So like, like. Does your All body your... extend? What the fuck's happening? And then also when <sighs> when they revert back, they just the, explode they have... again. So I was like, and there's the and there's clothes back on. Yeah, so I'm not saying I need to see their tits or anything or or like dicks, but like, I mean, why you do you they have clothes? Sh- <laughs> All you could do is just like show their back, and that's it. Yeah, or just have their hands cover their boobs, or the guys cover yeah. their junks. Like I'm not saying like, oh my god, I need to see them naked, but like. Why do they have clothes on? And also, why do they talk like they're naked? Yeah. Have you? Did you notice that? Like yeah. she was like, "Can somebody t- please give me some clothes?" Well, also every time they're like this, they're like, "Well, I need some clothes." I was like, "I, I get it. Like you're kind of naked, but, but I well, mean, I mean, your, your like, stuff why? is covered." So like, like I Jacob don't... was like in his shorts the whole time, and he didn't have an issue. <laughs> Jacob was naked basically the whole time. Yeah. Um. So I was curious if maybe at the last minute they were all naked and they were just like. We don't want to make them naked. Let's just change it. I don't know. That that was just weird because they keep saying they're naked, and I'm like, "But you're not naked, so what's going yeah. on? Um, were you naked?" And then they changed it at the last minute or something. I don't know. But I I I like the gruesome nature of the transformations. Like they're just blood everywhere, and it just becomes this werewolf. But I literally have to turn my brain off because it bothers me so much that like 
what is happening when is when like when this happens like their skeletons get bigger <laughs> like what's going on so i don't know i i'm always a fan of werewolves like like yeah. where people like i like i like that you know vampire-esque lore about them like i like that shit um so i i liked that we got a werewolf game honestly so i'm, I'm trying not to be too picky here like i don't remember the last time a werewolf was really in anything like skyrim was yeah. had a werewolf and that's really it so i feel like we don't get enough werewolf vampire things really anymore at least in games no for sure um it's weird because there's a scene at the end where like you know where like you can either kill caleb or save uh caitlin things like that uh-huh to to uh, apparently you can serve you can get caitlin to survive and save caleb so like if you don't shoot the wolf i think she gets she gets bit in the arm and then she drops down, but then Caleb runs away. I don't know what, I don't know what, they, it's like their, uh, whatever decisions they made, but the decisions they made got it to where, you know, Kayla or uh, Caitlin doesn't shoot him. The wolf comes up to her arm, starts, bites her. She falls to the ground. He goes to do something, but then he runs away. Yeah, that was unclear too. So apparently like if they sense you're infected, that's why the blood which is never really explained, but that's why blood works. So they yeah. rub the werewolf blood on them because they smell yeah, it infected. Like she had it, it looks like she had so, it on her face. Yeah, so it seems like if they think you're infected, they don't fuck with you, which I'm like, okay, well, we're working with walking dead uh, logic here, I guess. Um, whatever. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a little weird. Whatever, there was a few weird things. And also, they just don't, ex- they don't explain something, so you, you have to really look into stuff. But again, all in all, this is a good game. There's just... It's frustrating that it is good because it could have been great. Like it could, this could have been an easy top five for the year. And I just don't. I just think a bunch of little things just slowly pull it back. I'm like, yeah, this this will be this will maybe hit top ten. We'll we'll have to see. Yeah, no, I I do like I like I said I love the the story, but like that ending was just a little, mm. mm-hmm. the ending some of the techno issues. Like, there's a couple other things I, again, good game, but um, also just to slowly round us out, I wanted to quickly go over some of the most important choices just so people have like some idea of like some of the choices when they were playing. Don't open the trap door during chapter four in a classic horror movie fashion. Emma is the character that will be vlogging her experience. I can throw the forest at night and highlighting the spooky sounds stumbling upon a street house. The player will be given an option to search inside or to open the trap door above her. Should she open this trap door, a turned backs will attack her and eventually turn into a werewolf by uh, having Emma die. Players won't get to experience uh, experience them with Jacob. So um, it, apparently if you open the thing without her getting close, she just gets mauled to death yeah because she doesn't have any she doesn't have the taser or anything so so. she just gets fucking destroyed yeah which is funny because that's his clothes it's pretty funny yeah um did you at the very beginning when you go into chris hackett's office and you find the trap door with dylan and ryan and dylan and they're like hey open the door so go to go see what happens and um you get the option either to leave it alone or open the trap door what did you do i opened it and went down it what nothing happened so because i didn't go down it so i went down there dylan goes down no was it dylan or ryan i don't remember which one dylan goes down dylan goes down dylan goes down he goes it's it's creepy uh oh wait i think i think he has a good line here he goes oh my god it's nothing so it was pretty it was pretty funny so okay um and he goes uh it's creepy though i'm coming back up he comes back up this bothered me literally the whole fucking game i shit you not alex when he goes up a ladder rung gets uh uh messed up and i was like holy shit so he goes a ladder rung so one of the rungs of the ladder you know what you grab onto gets loosened so it's it even it zooms in and you oh. see it get loosened and I was like oh fuck I just killed somebody I I I literally go I just killed someone in chapter nine or ten however many chapters are in yeah. this game because I'm still at the beginning I'm like so, I just killed someone and well, when you uh, so, go back at Abigail going up the so thing. when Abigail goes up it she goes oh shit the ladder rung fell and it just goes up huh so nothing happens weird what was the Super point of putting weird. That? i'm assuming if there's a bunch of different things that happen yeah i assume someone dies there. Dies. yeah because 
that's like the perfect like oh i'm going to escape let me go up the ladder and she, they grab one and they just fall so yeah i'm assuming i just did whatever you needed to do to not have that happen maybe someone needs to be a werewolf. oh maybe emma needs to be a werewolf maybe she changes there uh, and oh, abigail she runs it, up she tries to run yeah maybe i don't know i i, I don't know but that was that uh, alex i'm not joking that bothered me the entire game i was literally in the back of my mind like who's gonna die who's gonna die because of that fucking ladder and nothing happened um apparently uh you do have to it is important to shoot at nick if not um nick will fucking murder the shit out of abigail (laughs) Mm -hmm. apparently uh there's a i guess the point of jacob being in the uh, woods the whole time is because there's uh the options where having everybody become a wolf he becomes a wolf in the woods and Emma's out there, and at, at, towards the end, if you want, if she winds up getting bitten, but it says Emma survives the night, fending werewolf Jacob off with her silver bracelet. And that, that's how if she you stays return it when if, you yeah. find it as Jacob. I remember finding that. Yeah, and you give it back to her. That also reminds me. I saw that there was achievement. I don't know how you do it. I saw there's achievement that either Jacob or Emma kills the other one. Mm. I don't know. I don't know which one it was, but it was like Jacob kills Emma, and that's one of the achievements. I guess is something you could do yeah um let's see here uh the good news won't that do oh yeah this is um for it so in chapter eight lauren ryan will turn up at the hackett house while navigating through the tunnels at some point bobby will stab ryan good news ryan will die knife can be pulled out later um or early if the knife is still in ryan's position this will unlock an option later on for ryan to stab out bobby what we did Doing so will make him vulnerable and incapable of being able to fight his brother Chris later on, resulting in Bobby's death. Should he not be stabbed, Bobby will get knocked out, but will survive the night. So apparently you have to stab him there, or he will survive. I didn't know that. Yeah, and apparently Caleb can come out alive. It doesn't say... That's what you said, Um, though, right? Yeah, yeah, apparently, yeah. When he runs away, he runs into the chimney, and then towards the end it says, Caleb Hackett returned to his human form permanently when Silas was killed, and he's just, just a little kid hiding in the chimney whoa yeah okay okay he's the one that started all this let's see by chapter 10 should ryan laura bobby and nick still be alive ryan and laura will encounter bobby carrying nick through the woods if the player is if the player has ryan shoot at bobby he will drop a werewolf file which is an item um that can mask human scent players will have the option to have ryan or laura cult themselves in it if you remember in chapter 10 um, in that vial that you have, which will come in handy as the players attempt to unravel the mystery of the White Wolf. Not having this vial will most likely guarantee the deaths of of Laura and Ryan during their encounter with Silas. Silas will kill anyone that does not have the werewolf scent on them. Interesting. I wonder what happens. Hmm. Well, there there was a scene just now that I saw, that I saw, and it said, and it shows Ryan, uh, Laura, and Travis all standing in front of Silas while he's sleeping. And they don't do anything. She just, uh, Laura's just, is it like, I'm assuming he can't smell him because they have, he probably has the blood. Because in my thing, he only had one vial left or whatever. And he goes, or Mine he too. did. Yeah, or I think he had one. He was like, oh, this is not enough or whatever. Yeah, it's only enough for one person. And I made Ryan put it on. Because I was like, out of those two people, Ryan, bro, you are not the one that's like, that's going to help. So I was like, yeah. you need to be uh, just away while Laura or- deals with it. Yeah, and that's what I, I was like. I don't think he. I don't think anything happened because he stayed back by the car. Oh, he came with. Oh me. no, no, sorry, no, he did come with me. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, because there's a p- option where it says I can give him the gun, but like I or no. I, that I saw, but I I didn't give him the gun. No, I kept the gun. But um, I don't think I did anything with the blood because when I walked up to the Silas, uh, Travis was like, "What are you doing? Shoot him!" And he we started fighting, and that's where I shot Travis. Yeah, I, that happened to me too. And then, uh, that, and then I shot Silas. But apparently, there's that scene. It says that where they don't even fight. He, they just walk up to walk up to him, and then just kill Silas. And they all three of them live. Yep. Yeah, you can just shoot him in the face. Yeah. So that is uh, that is interesting. Uh, I don't have anything else. Oh, apparently the syringe is also important because if not, um, there's uh, the syringe is important to find and use as it significantly impacts the storyline and outcomes of several characters. During a confrontation between Laura and Travis, Laura have the option of using the syringe to render Travis unconscious instead of shooting him. 
by yep. doing this. Um, an uneasy peace will ensue between the two characters later on as they put aside the differences to figure out the mystery of the werewolf. No syringe yep. means Laura will shoot at Travis. Shooting at Travis will guarantee Laura's death at his hands later on. Interesting. I wonder how. Yeah, I'm assuming that's well, when uh, they're fighting. That's when she. Ha- that's when they were fighting, and she has, and he has the glass, and then that's just stabs him. Oh, would he have stabbed her in the face? So it probably oh. that or in the or in the chest or something. Oh, uh, just kill her. Yeah, because because uh, when she when she, when she un- when she comes off of him, you could see the glass was like like under the chest. Also, be I'm gonna be real with you. Shocked he didn't kill her. I was like, I just killed his entire family basically in front of him. He's gonna be salty, and he just drops it. I was like, wow. <laughs> okay yeah. well technically oh for you i guess what to, for me i only killed Je- laura only killed jedediah and chris hackett killed everybody else True. and then ryan and then ryan killed uh chris good, and then we turned back to Romo. good point but you, you yeah but you you had a hand in a lot of that though and well i get yeah and then she killed she did kill Haley hackett yeah. Haley hackett yeah so yeah, yeah she killed, killed two almost of them. everybody except caleb oh uh, yeah so yeah, I I was shocked. I was like, okay, hey, good on you, man. I guess you can look the other way. But uh, yeah, uh, that's really all I have. Anything else you want to cover in the last little bits of the show? We I feel like we've we've covered a lot. No, I think that was it. I mean, I really enjoyed the game, and I'm still feeling in that mode. So I started yeah. until dawn. Yeah, me too. Me, uh, my wife was re- uh, really in the mood too for like a very similar game. So I was like, well, they made until dawn, and we can try that it's very similar and she was like yeah mm-hmm. let's do it so we're on until dawn as well we're on chapter two yeah. i think um. all right well thank you all so much for joining us for the spoiler cast remember regular episodes accordingly usually uh fridays might be thursdays moving forward for a while let us know what you thought about the uh, Corey spoiler cast remember talk about Corey in the comments we'll talk uh we answer every single comment so put out what were your favorite parts who got how many people did you get out did you kill all the hackets did you feel some soft spots i saw some people were like no i didn't kill that many i was like no i wonder what happens if you got everybody killed because there's an achievement that says get kill everybody get everybody killed i'm assuming it just ends like around chapter nine or maybe the beginning of 10 i don't know i'm I'm curious how fast you can do that i'm assuming it's pretty quick yeah all right thank y'all so much for joining us remember go chief go chief